Gordon. Well, first, Senator Schumer, thank you for your leadership during these extremely challenging times and for the manner in which we will be considering the supplemental appropriation. And to my colleague, Senator Reid, the two of us shared something that we thought we would never see in our lifetime, the depravity and brutality that Hamas demonstrated against Israel. What we saw in videos and film and faces, conversations with the families of the hostages, it brought depravity to a new low against civilization. It, it just shocks you to see what they did to people and what they're continuing to do. We were resolved to help Israel. That feeling is even deeper today as a result of our visit. Israel has a right and obligation to defend itself. Hamas must be destroyed. It's evil. The Palestinians cannot survive with Hamas. It's in their interest. We call it Hamas to be similar to ISIS. I personally think some of the things they did is even worse than what ISIS did. We have to rid our, that region and the world from such a terrorist organization. In doing that, we have to provide the help Israel needs. This supplemental does that. It provides additional resources for air defense. We know how many missiles were shot against Israel. And we know that Iron Dome was successful in bringing down most of them. They need to have the resources to protect themselves against another round of missile attacks. Senator Reid mentioned properly, we're doing everything we can to stop the spread of this conflict. I want to congratulate President Biden for his strong leadership. We heard that over and over again in Israel, the strength of American leadership under President Biden. We've made it clear to Iran and its proxies that it should not even consider taking advantage of this circumstances against Israel. We recognize the risks from the northern border with Hezbollah. Israel needs to be prepared. This supplemental is critically important so that they have the defense if more missiles are fired into the country. It also provides the resources in order to even perfect air defense greater than it is today. It provides the resources for America to replenish its own supplies that it's made available to Israel. And yes, as Senator Reid says, it provides the help for the innocent victims being caught in this conflict. I was impressed in my conversations with the Israelis. Their sensitivity, as I knew was there, to make sure that we do everything we can to protect the innocent victims, the Palestinians that are trying to leave. Hamas is trying to stop them. Hamas is using them as shields, human shields. We need to do everything we can to help, including the supply of humanitarian assistance. We're pleased to see the trucks are getting in, and we hope they're not being diverted. In this supplemental is help for Ukraine. Ukraine needs this money yesterday. We've got to get that done immediately. That's our front line in defense against Russia's aggression to bring down the democratic Europe. We need to make sure they have the resources they need and the leadership from America to keep this strong coalition together to give them the resources they need. And in the Indo-Pacific, we have to make it clear to the PRC, to China, that they cannot use aggression. And one way to do that is to show China that we stand with the democratic regimes that are in the region and are prepared to give them what they need to defend the territorial integrity. This is a critical moment for the United States and the free world. This supplemental is critically important that we get it done as soon as possible to support democracy around the world. I'll do everything I possibly can to get this supplemental passed.